Uh, we've been here since Boxing Day evening, where we were tasked by the National Coordination Centre uh, to ask to go to Pontefract, and then we were moved to Halifax on that evening, just in case Leeds were underwater. Uh, we then, then got pulled back to the strategic holding area, the SHA, and since then we've been working in York and they've been doing a number of rescues. So we've been involved in eight specific rescues, and that's medically evacuated all persons that have been uh, trapped in water. What we have got, and what we've been doing now with the effort, because certainly the military did a number of good work prior to the floods, and so it's been more of humanitarian aid, of passing, making sure that people have had food parcels, uh, people have had uh, water, people have been able to get out safely. And so like we're here today, it's certainly a double check into those people who've been trapped now three or four days. Electricity is off, the water isn't working, toilets aren't working. So all those things that we take for granted, we're ensuring that those people now are safe and they still want to be there or they want to come out into a rest area. Yeah, these are all flats, a nice area down here. And further on down here while we've been here, there's an old people home. And we're ensuring that, again, those people are safe. We've actually pulled out six people this morning to make sure that they're OK. And we've then ensured that the, the bridges are all, all working well and there of the uh, people can move backwards and forwards. Mm -hmm. And then finally, it's just checking the, the vulnerable person's home, which is just a, further down in the water on the right, and to ensure that those people are still safe there as well. teams and it's been fantastic. Well normally things seem to take a bit of time don't they but the sooner the better because there's a lot of very desperate people. So I was away in France on Boxing Day night and I got a call from my uh, lead that works for me to say that she was in the cellar trying to turn the pump on because water was coming in and they salvaged as much stock as they could and brought it upstairs um, but the water's still coming into the cellar now so it's right. even though the river hasn't dropped it must come underneath. So we're just trying to clear out the damaged stock now and then get a pump on again. Mm -hmm. But we knew that we'd probably get flooded, so that's why we fitted a pump in the cellar. And then we've got two petrol ones that we're going to use as well. At least the top of the shop hasn't been damaged at all. If it's only the cellar, that's fine. We can get back in business. We're shut until the 4th of January anyway, so we'll be opening up for business then. Well, we've recently taken over just about four, five months. So this is the fifth month running, yeah. So, well, but this is our second restaurant that we've opened in New York. Uh, we had the first, another one on Fishergate. Uh, but that, that one's as bad as, as this one as well. But at the moment, business-wise, I think both of them are, are closed from, yeah, that's it, Saturday. Every single time the water goes um, like high, you know, people stop coming down this lane. And we knew about it as well, and uh, when we took the place over and uh, we asked the people who were here before, I think they had it for 22 odd years. Uh, so well, they're the best people to ask how it was. And they said 2012 was when actually water went inside and had a proper damage to most of it. So they had to change the flooring, furnitures and everything. And I think what they did, they, they kept that in mind and when they reinstalled everything, they knew that this is going to happen again. So that's what they did with the flooring and the furniture as well. They tried to keep it as much as non-damageable by flood as they could. So which, which was a good thing for us, to be honest. You know, we got a chance to get in, in, in the property after four days. So we are not going to wait for Wednesday to get it worse. We are going to clean it. And if it gets worse on Wednesday, that's what we are going to do again. It would really help if the council gave us a break on business rates for at least three months to get over what's happened. We are not big chain, we are not McDonald's, we are not Nando's. Everything goes out from our own pocket. We don't have a central company to look after us. It would be nice if, uh, if they would do something for us.